Hi and welcome. My name is Mark Tyers and I'm a senior lecturer at Coventry University. And what you're watching is the first video in a set of two labs which teaches you all about how to organise your code more effectively. Now, if you've worked in programming in the past, and I hope you have, then you've probably organised your code in different ways. Um, maybe you zip your files up occasionally and give them dates so you've got back copies of your work in case things go wrong. Or maybe you have a little readme file or a to-do list that you, which you tick off as you go through. Now obviously these aren't ideal solutions and what we're going to talk about today is a solution which has been designed for programmers by programmers and the solution is called a version control system. And a version control system allows you to very easily organise your code to break your code into chunks, to add notes to your code as you complete things, and to be able to change and roll back to, your, uh, to previous versions if things go wrong. It also will allow you to share your code with other people. Now, the tool we're going to be using today is something called Git. And it was, it was developed by a guy called Linus Torvalds, who was the guy who first developed the Linux operating system back in the 90s. And he came up with a solution which would work with a project which contained tens of thousands of files and thousands of different developers. And in this lab, you're going to cover the basics of how we work with the Git version control system. And you're going to use it to manage your code. Now, in the lab, you're going to be working with a simple readme file. We're going to look at how we've tracked changes on the readme file. But everything you learn, you should be able to apply to any programs you work on in the future. So your next job is to have a look at the worksheet which accompanies this video. And once you finish the worksheet, which should take you about half an hour to an hour, I would like you to look at the concepts video and we'll talk a little bit more about some of the technical skills that you've been using. Okay, good luck.